Welcome to the Autodesk Fusion 360, what's new in design and engineering for the January release. We've laid out a whole year of new improvements and we're excited to start 2023 off with some new features and functionality. In the design domain, we're taking a look at the user parameter dialog again. This had previously been overhauled, but in this update, we build onto the UI by increasing search results to include feature names, adding additional filtering of user parameters and favorites, and adding a symbol button to sort features in the order of the original timeline, all of which makes it easier to configure your designs or variations. We did this to improve the user experience with reorganization of fields to improve clarity. Into the sketch plane we dive next to see an update to control points within splines. There's a lot of ups and downs in the design process and we want to make sure that you have the greatest flexibility possible. The dialog now shows an option to change the degrees of a spline, give more granular control of specific points, and to reduce the need to recreate complex splines. It can also be used to simplify splines where possible. Simply highlight the line, change the spline degree in the sketch palette, thus adding or subtracting the number of control points influencing the curvature of the spline. As always, we strive to increase the performance of Fusion 360 with each update. In the January 2023 release, we focus on the window selection of sketches and 3D models. Complex geometry or line work can now be grabbed in the blink of an eye to make sure that you're not left waiting. The speed of component patterns also saw an increase. This is especially useful in complex assemblies of components with their respective joints. Finally, going back to the foundation of 3D modeling commands, we've eked out a bit more speed from the extrude and fillet commands. Having a cloud-based modeling platform allows us to be agile, constantly updating our program to optimize performance to the best of our abilities. We'll continue to fine-tune performance of Fusion 360 as the year progresses. We're once again looking at the drawing space. This area of Fusion 360 has been a high priority for us over the past year, as professional engineering drawings make the world go round. A new functionality has been added to copy custom, technical detailed tables from one drawing or sheet to the next. This may fly under the radar for some, but it has massive potential to save chunks of time spent recreating highly customized or formatted engineering tables within drawings. All data and formatting will be moved along with the table too. A huge time-saving workflow I have found personally is storing all of my tables in one centralized drawing, and then just reference that when creating new engineering drawings. While we're in the drawing space, let's take a look at the deletion of views in Fusion 360. Creating a view of your model or assembly in Fusion is a straightforward process. Annotations such as dimensions are often placed all over the design's drawing to indicate specifics that are important to your viewer. When a view needs to be removed from a drawing, it's important that all associated information is deleted too. Simplifying the editing of drawings speeds up the process of getting your drawings to spec. Duplicating sheets was highlighted in the November What's New as an improvement to getting your stakeholders their custom drawings faster. Tacking onto this, we've added greater control of symbols by allowing them to be reassociated as necessary. A simple workflow that can save tons of time when looking at surface symbols, feature control frames, datum symbols, weld symbols, or any other symbol that you can think of in Fusion 360. Next, we're looking at the updated e-cooling simulation, which, thanks to your testing and feedback, we are now moving out of public preview and into full release. We've covered the new preview features as they've come online over the past few releases. But new for this commercial release, we are pleased to announce 3D point probes in the results view. These point probes allow for investigating air temps in 3D space. This improvement over the previous surface-only probes allows for greater degree of investigation on your designs. Keep an eye out for the deep dive blog and video in the near future. For generative design, we're excited to announce the commercial release of our new solver. As with the electronics cooling solution, we've covered many of these release features during the preview state. With this official release, users can now use as many of the advanced features with the new solver, including remote loads, point masses, and displacement limits, all without having preview features enabled. The remote loads and constraints tools allow for creating designs that may be part of a larger assembly without knowing how the attachments play into the design. Point masses offer similar functionality by applying mass loads in 3D space. The primary difference between the point mass and the remote loads comes down to whether gravity is the load acceleration or if there is some external force involved. The displacement limits now allow for a designer to specify how stiff a design needs to be on either a global scale or in specific areas. 
Another feature out of this release is the ability to put moments on cylindrical faces that are off-axis. All of these features are part of the core solver and do not require tech PV settings to be enabled. And that's everything for this January What's New in Design and Engineering in Fusion 360. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the blog post to learn about what else is new in Fusion 360.